Good morning, Vinyl Community. It's Mazzy here on this Friday morning in February. Of course, that doesn't really matter because you could be watching this in 2035 in November. Who knows if YouTube lasts that long. Anyway, uh, I get notifications on my phone that I've set up different themes and subjects. And uh, I got one today that Guy Webster died and he was 79 years old. Now, a lot of you folks may not know who Guy is, but you certainly know his work. And I bet you every single person here has at least one album uh, with his photograph on the cover. An album he photographed, actually. He was a photographer, did a lot of record covers in the late 60s uh, through the 70s. Then he pulled back from that for a while, but then later he got into more uh, other celebrity portraiture. And again, he passed away at 79. So I want to do a quick run through of uh, not a definitive uh, list of his covers, but just a handful that I pulled out that I know I have, and I probably have others here. But um, this is it. I'm playing the Turn, Turn, Turn album actually in the background right now, and we'll get to that one. But Eva Destruction, Barry McGuire, great album cover. Uh, this is Lou Adler's label, Dunhill, and they uh, brought uh, Guy in, and he was referred to him by Terry Melcher, who at, was at Columbia Records at the time. And they did a number of covers for Dunhill, and this was uh, one of my favorites. I love the graphic simplicity of it, and that great orange type. This is probably his most infamous one. In 1966, the Mamas and Papas were renting a house in LA and a guy went through it and scattered out and wanted to photograph them in the bathroom. And everyone loved this, the band loved this. They also did some outside around the house. But the band loved this as their choice, but there was some concern at the time that the chain stores, department stores, wouldn't carry it because there was a toilet in it. Now, Lou Adler had the idea to put a hype sticker, and I don't know, and this is where you could help me, if they actually did a cellophane uh, wrap version with the sticker so when you brought it home you could see the toilet and shock your parents, right? Um, but they put it actually on this copy. This is, I doubt this is an original pressing. I'm not even sure, but um, love that cover. Probably one of his most infamous, definitely, covers. He also did this for the Moms and Papas. Obviously, did several photo shoots for them. And record companies have a nature of uh, turning your photographs in and repackaging and using your images and, um, on various uh, projects. Usually, you get paid per album cover, and there's different licensing involved, but I'm not going to get in that right now. A lot of people got away, a lot of labels got away with buying out the photographers at the time, unfortunately. Here's that Turn, Turn, Turn cover. Terry Melcher brought him in for this. One of my favorite albums, and The Birds is my third favorite band of all time. So, a lot of you might have this album. and Or this album. Shot in LA, up in the um, hills of uh, Los Angeles. And now probably what his, is uh, Guy Webster's most famous album cover, I would say. And um, maybe everyone here has it. If you don't have it, chime in. And if you don't, you should, right? The Doors' first album. This was shot, um, Guy Webster had a studio in the back of his parents' house, down back in the backyard. And the band showed up. Guy had no idea who they were. Obviously, their first album hadn't come out, but turned out Jim Morrison recognized Guy because they had been in a class, I think, at UCLA. I think it even was a philosophy class, which would make sense. But Guy didn't recognize Jim, but Jim recognized Guy from the class. But um, one of his favorite albums. I think I heard The Doors originally, when it was put together, weren't happy that Jim was way in front, but come on. Here we go. Guy got pulled in by Andrew Lou, old, old oh, Andrew Lou. He's, that's one of those names again. Just doesn't come out easy on the lips, especially in the morning before pre-coffee. Even this is pre-coffee time. Um, Andrew Lou Oldham brought Guy in to shoot the Stones, and actually, when they were negotiating money. 
Andrew wanted a guy to shoot for free, telling him that this will look good in your portfolio and it, it should be your honor shooting the Rolling Stones. But they worked out a deal and they paid him for one album cover and of course they turned it into many, several. Obviously, these are the UK versions and I love this cover. And obviously we know this because it came on in the United States as High Tide and Green Grass and then the UK version. But I'm not sure if he shot this one too. But anyway, we all know that one and we definitely know that one. I just have two more. Sweet Judy Blue Eyes herself, Judy Collins, and this um, was shot for Electra Records, also, along with the doors on Electra Records, as you know. And lastly, again, not definitively, Captain Beefheart, Safe as Milk. So that's my uh, mini morning tribute to Guy Webster. Wonderful photographer, someone that you should all know. And again, you know, go go to your collection and pull one of these albums out and play it today or, or over the weekend as a mini tribute. Let's remember him. Great photographer. Take care. Thanks for watching.